It is time for What's Good. Pride Month is coming to an end, but supporting LGBTQ plus communities does not stop there. If you're looking to add something new to your summer reading list, Amy Paffrath has a new fantasy fiction series that's worth the read. Good morning, Amy. <laughs> Good morning, Giselle. Yes, if Aphrodite is the goddess of love, her sister Petra is the goddess of emotion. And artist Kelly Balch is certainly in touch with hers. She's captured the love of countless queer couples on film with her stunning wedding images. Now she's stepping out from behind the camera and sharing her journey back to self with her new book, Aphrodite's Sister. It's surreal for creative Kelly Balch to be autographing a copy of her own book. 13 years ago, what is now her first novel, Aphrodite's Sister, was essentially her journal. It still is close to my chest, and it still was, for the longest time, my baby that I was afraid to let the world read. Today, the author is celebrating how far she's come with longtime friend and former child actor Devin Werkheiser. On his podcast, Growing Up, Kelly is unpacking her upbringing, including being queer in a staunchly Christian household. The Christian belief just isn't just truth. There are many truths. Writing helped her sort out her conflicting thoughts and emotions and eventually share her truth by asking her mom to be her first editor. That's how I came out to my mom. She was not happy. <laughs> I just couldn't face her. And I, I thought that that was going to be a good cushion of her reading, just my mentality and the turmoil that I was going through. Though she's been writing as therapy for a long time, she's made a career via a different artistic expression, photography. Things really clicked when she saw her own truth through her lens. When I was photographing same sex, I was like, okay, I am actually pioneering and building my own type of representation. That's when it became very exciting. She's been celebrating same sex weddings since before they were legal. Now she's stepping out from behind the camera to put herself out there. Though originally self published, her book has been re released with the help of Mariah Golding of Golden Publishing. In it, Kelly shares her inner world through the voice of a fictional character inspired by Greek mythology. Written when she was just 18, Kelly was tempted to update the text, but says she felt a responsibility to preserve her character's young voice. I have to celebrate that's who I was and celebrate where I've come now. While she's certainly comfortable in her own skin and language has led her to a deeper understanding, she doesn't hang her identity on labels, but she certainly understands why it's important to have them. Because it is a comfort to be like that. There's a word for what I'm feeling. Um, and we never I never had those words, so I never actually got attached to words. I got attached to feelings, what I'm feeling. These days, Kelly's feeling major goddess vibes. Aphrodite would be proud. Aphrodite's Sister, written by Kelly Balch, is available now. You can order it through Barnes & Noble or head to Kelly's website, kellybalch.com, to learn more. It is worth noting that Kelly has a great relationship with her mom and family who live in Orange County. And wow, I want some of those goddess vibes. I love <laughs> it. So is Kelly going to continue as a photographer, or is now her whole focus on writing? Giselle, you always have goddess vibes, by the way. She <laughs> says she still loves capturing images on film and will continue to be part of people's special moments, but she is freeing up her schedule so she can focus more on writing. There's two more books in the series that will be released over the next two years. She hopes to eventually rework that into a TV series. But Kelly is a person who cannot be put into a box. She's currently in the Amazon teaching indigenous women how to edit. She is always up to something interesting. Follow her on social. Stay up to date at Kelly Balch. An authentic, inspiring voice. Fabulosity. Thank yes. you, Goddess. Thank we you. appreciate it. Goddess you. Amy Pathrath. <laughs> Thank you so much.